Hello and welcome to an e-demo on the Maps feature of Victor Unified Client. Today we're going to learn how to create a map, then we're going to add objects to that map and configure them. Once we've done that then we can take a look at how to view a map and also how a map performs when one of its objects goes into an alert status. So as I said then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a map. So if we go up to the build tab then select maps and new We'll give our map a name. We can also give it a description if we wanted to. So now if we move down to the bottom pane which is called map, what this pane does is gives us an overview of how our map actually looks at the moment. Obviously because we haven't actually added anything to it, it's currently blank. So the first thing we need to do then is import an image. So if we select the import a map button, we can navigate to our file and then we'll click import and you can see that image has been placed as a background for our map. Now what we need to do is we need to add some objects to the map. It's important to note at this stage that any object in Victor can be added to a map. So that can be cameras, recorders and even objects that come through due to secure unification. For this example we're just going to use some cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my device list. I'll actually just zoom in a little bit and then we can see what we're doing. Go over to the device list then and expand out a recorder we just drag and drop that camera onto our map. You can see we're getting a message here and the reason for this message is because this is the first object of that type that's been added to this map. So we're just going to click yes and continue on. And You can see that camera's been placed there. Now what we can do is we can actually manipulate this icon so it looks as we want it to. So just hovering over and scrolling with my mouse wheel will make it larger and smaller. We move on to the enunciation area we can do the same there, make it larger and smaller. We can also right click and select mirror image and it will flip the icon around like so and then we can position it as we wish. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to select edit and it will bring in this pane and in this pane we can configure lots of information about the icon. So as you can see we can reassign what object it links to we scroll on down a little bit, we can assign some images, so we can say, is it a dome camera? We would like it to look like a dome. Scroll on down, you can assign some Dynamics text to display there. If we come further down, we can look at the Assign Alerts section. And what this section does is it allows you to configure how the icon will behave if the object goes into an alert status. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure a video loss alert. So if I select video loss and then I'm going to select the enunciation type, select pulse and I'm going to select a colour and I'm going to choose red. OK, so if I scroll down and just click OK, that's now been assigned to that icon. And what I can do now is I can select our icon and then I can drag and drop other cameras on. And what it will do is because I've selected the icon before dragging, it'll actually clone the configuration of the first object onto this second object. So we can place that as before. And again, we can do the same again. If we have an icon selected, we can drag and drop another and it'll clone that configuration across. So you can see it's quite quick to add objects to the map. Once you get one configured, you can just keep adding. Okay, I'm going to save and close that. Now we have the map configured. Now we're going to take a look at how to view the map. So if we go to the Home tab, because we now have a map created, you'll see over on the very far right hand side, we now have a Maps button. We click it, you'll see all our maps listed, which is our one that we've created there. If we click it, it'll display like so. So what I can do is I can zoom in using my mouse wheel again. If you look up here, you'll see that there's a couple of checkboxes, one called Hover and one called Health. If we have Hover Mode enabled, what will happen is, when I hover over a camera, it'll actually give me a full surveillance pane of that camera view. If we close out of it, I'm also going to check the Health box, and you'll see that the cameras now have an icon on them that indicates how healthy they are. If I also have Hover selected with Health, and I hover over an object, 
I actually get the health dashboard for that object rather than the camera view. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video, video loss alert for one of our cameras and then we can see how it appears. I'm just going to pull the cable out of this camera and you can see our enunciation that we set before is displaying in the view.